Hello, my name is Andrew Savoya. I'm a cellist and a content creator. Today, I'm gonna to be teaching you a little bit about the cello. This video is titled Cello 101. I'm gonna be talking about some of the basics and techniques involved in playing this instrument. So maybe this is your first time seeing this instrument, or maybe you play another instrument or you follow this YouTube channel because you wanna learn about other instruments. Well, there are plenty of ways to learn about the cello and learn how to play the cello. I'm gonna talk about today some basic techniques and principles behind playing the cello uh, and some basic music theory and positioning on the cello to play some beautiful notes. So I wanna talk about how I learned the cello. So I started playing the piano and then I switched to the cello at the age of nine. I just really liked the warm tone of the instrument. And I kind of played throughout school and I took some private cello lessons, probably like one lesson every week. And for some students who learn the cello, like you can get private lessons uh, at your school. Sometimes schools offer that. Um, I had a teacher that was kind of in my area and I would go to her house like once a week and we'd learn some basics. And I was trained using the Suzuki method, which is one of the ways that you can learn the cello. And like while taking some private lessons, I also was playing in a string ensemble at my school. I think that really allows musicians to learn to play with each other. And I think that's really important. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna talk about today is the posture when playing the cello. So the cello is an instrument that sits in between your two legs. And when you're first, I remember this feeling very distinctly, like when picking up the cello for the first time, like just kind of how uncomfortable it kind of felt and how awkward it almost felt. Uh, because you have these little things on the sides that might poke your legs, but your legs will develop a relationship with the cello and it's important not to squeeze too hard, right? It just, the instrument is resting against your legs. And the upper part of this instrument on the back here is resting against your chest. And this kind of varies on preference where you have the instrument on your chest. Um, I like to keep it kind of like right here, right, right um, in line with my pec muscles here. You want to rest the instrument between your legs lightly against your chest. And the third thing is to focus on your legs. You don't want your legs to be out here when you're playing or you don't want them to be tucked up all the way underneath your chair. You are going to keep your legs almost at a 90 degree angle. So I like to sit in a chair that's not too low and not too high. So it's a very comfortable sitting position. Okay, now let's get into some basics of playing the cello. So on the cello, there's four strings. There's the A string, the D string, the G string, and the C string. We have this thing called the fingerboard. So the fingerboard goes down the length of the instrument and if you watch my cello anatomy video, I kind of explain all the different parts of the cello, but we're going to mainly be focusing on the bow today and the fingerboard. So by placing your hands down on the fingerboard, you're shortening the distance of that string between your finger and the bridge, and that's creating a different pitch. So um, the first position that we want to talk about today is first position <laughs> and first position is um, right here on the neck. So if you're just learning the cello, you'll probably have a teacher that puts stickers across your instrument where um, there's, it's kind of denoting where your fingers should be in each position, but we're primarily gonna be talking about first position today. So I'm gonna be placing the bow down right now. We're gonna be talking about the fingerboard and the left hand, which is what I'm gonna be using to do all the fingering and play the different notes on the cello. So when you're placing your hand on the fingerboard and on the neck of the cello, which is the piece that runs right here, you want to keep your hand in this nice relaxed C shape. So, you know, this thumb is not completely straightened. It's slightly bent. These fingers are curled, kind of like you're picking up a softball. And that's going to be how you're playing these different notes. So I'm going to be talking about the positioning of your left arm when you're playing the cello. So everything from your wrist all the way down to your elbow is in a straight line. It's in complete alignment. You, want, you don't want to be down all the way here or you don't want to lift your elbow all the way up because that's just going to be an awkward position for you to play in. All right, so now I'm going to talk about the bow hold. And the bow hold is very tricky to get when you're first learning the instrument. And when I learned the cello, I didn't really even start holding my bow in the beginning because it can be pretty challenging. 
and you want to learn the hand positions before you start using the bow and complicating things. But the bow position is also very relaxed. You want to kind of let your hand just fall down like this and bring the bow up to meet it. And that's kind of a position in how you want to hold the bow. Your fingers are not gripping the bow super tightly. It's a relaxed relationship with the bow that allows you to control the movements of the bow while still allowing your hand to be relaxed. So, and there's different exercises that you can do um, to just allow your hand to grip the bow, but not too tightly. So when you begin playing notes on the cello, uh, you have your bow hold all set up and your left hand is in the right position. You want your bow to be perpendicular with the string. So it kind of ends up where as you play a note, you'll have to push your right arm farther away from your body if you're on the top A string here. See how my wrist goes away from my body versus let's say I'm playing an up bow, which is the bow going in the left direction, starting on the C string, I'm bringing that arm closer in, it's starting farther away, coming in closer in. But that's just how you keep your bow perpendicular to the strings when you play. And that will become natural as you play more and more. Uh, but that's how you're gonna get the best tone and just allowing those strings to vibrate. When you're bowing on the cello, it's important to just allow gravity to let you have a nice tone. So you don't really need to push really hard in on a particular string to play. Just let kind of gravity pull this arm naturally down. And you can really, just using the only, just the weight of your arm, you can get a really nice tone. And it's not like you need to push directly into the strings to play. Just like that. All right, so now I'm gonna talk about first position on the cello. And this is the first thing that you're gonna learn if you're learning the notes on the cello. And if you're learning this instrument for the first time, your teacher will probably put stickers across the instrument to denote where the positions are. We're gonna go down starting from the A string, the D string, the G string, and the C string, what different notes are in first position. So starting on the A string, if I play, this is open, then it's B with the first finger then C with second finger, third finger is on C sharp, and your fourth finger is on D. Now, if we go over to the D string, it's open D, E, this is second finger is on F, and then a half step up from that, third finger is on F sharp, fourth finger on G. And this is actually, an octave higher than your G string, which is the next string we'll talk about. So open G, first finger is on A, second finger is on B flat, third finger, B, fourth finger is on C. And we can play that with the open C string. That's an octave right there. So we'll now talk about the final string, the C string. Open C, D with the first finger. Second finger is on E flat. E with third finger. And then F with your fourth finger. So that's first position on the cello. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a little bit more about the cello today and some basics behind how we get sounds and beautiful sounds to come out of this instrument.